notorious mark of the beast all about. We are going to talk about today the different kinds of marks and specifically go to the scriptures, the ancient scriptures, and study for ourselves what this mark of the beast really is. All right, I want to give you some background information. This is all coming from the ancient scriptures, the ancient book of Revelation. All right, and we're going to start in chapter 13. I'm going to skip down to verse 11 right here. This is the second beast. There's two beasts that rise up in, in the Revelation chapter 13. Watch my video on the two beasts that rise up in Revelation 13 and learn more about that. This is the second beast. He rises up and he exercises as much power as the first beast right here in verse 12. Um, he does many wonderful works and he makes fire come down out of heaven. Watch my video about what this fire could be. It's a pretty awesome video. And uh, he, they deceive both beasts. They deceive them that dwell upon the earth by the signs of these miracles. And they make an image of the beast in 14. The second beast tells everybody to make an image that they should make an image of the beast, the first beast, who came back alive, who was resurrected from the grave. So this is the background information. I want you to watch my video on the image of the beast that comes alive. And it is able to not only come alive, this image, but it is able to kill people who do not worship the beast. See right here, verse 15, and he had power to give life to the image of the beast, that the image should both speak, and causes that as many that would not worship the beast should be killed. So this beast has power to come alive and to kill people. But we're going to focus today on the mark of the beast, and that is found in the famous scriptures in Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 to 18, right here. And what does it say? He causes all small, rich, great, and poor, free, and bond to receive a mark on their foreheads. This word mark, we're going to look up this word mark here shortly. And that no man might buy or sell, you see right here, you cannot buy or sell without this mark. All right, and the number is 666. Uh, real quickly, Sunday is a mark. The Sabbath has been changed, and that is a mark. Money is also a mark in the hand, but this is not the physical mark. Let's look up the word mark here and talk about what kind of mark this is. Those other twos are marks. They are seals. They are uh, in the categories of being marks, but it's not the same mark. This particular mark of the beast is different than those two marks. Keep that in mind. Let's look this word up. We go here into the Greek. Strong's Concordance, and we are going to look this wonderful word up. Okay, here we go. Strong's Concordance, Greek word, number 5480. You'll see here it is haragma. Haragma is the word used for mark, and it means right here to engrave, an engraving, something graven or sculptured, an impression mark or symbol, an engraving or sculptured work such as an image or idols these are physical things physical representations here's the most important part of this definition right here a mark cut it's a cut or a stamp on a sign and it refers to the mark of the beast scriptures that you can look up right here and to carve I want to go ahead and highlight that today because I just think that that's very, very important. See that? To carve. This kind of mark is not the same as the mark or symbol of the Sabbath day used by the Catholic Church, which is a mark. It's not the same as the mark of the uh, and the seals of the dollar bill, which is also a mark. This is a completely physical, literal mark, and we know that the scripture says it will be on the right hand or forehead. This is a physical mark.
your fingers in their ears singing da 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 dum I don't want to hear the sound of the coming king People walking around with their fingers in their ears singing da 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 I don't want to hear the sound of the coming king But he says, he says, well I have held my peace for a long, 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 long time And in my silence you thought that I was all together like you And in your heart you were settled in complacency You said he won't even respond You said he's not interested You said he's dead Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? 